Cool, Drone Faust. Nice, nice story to hear. Thank you. Does Logan like cats? Okay, I'll tell you what Logan does when he meets a cat. When Logan meets a cat on the street, if the cat runs away, and uh, yeah, if the cat runs away, he will run away immediately. He will run after the cat and not stop, even if I say stop. Uh, unless I have a leash, then I can stop him, obviously. So, if he sees a cat that runs, he runs after it. If he sees a cat that just stays there, he will approach it, and, he'll, and then he'll be kind of unsure, and he'll be like... <laughs> like that. And then if the cat is like... <laughs> Logan will be like... Run away! And he'll take a big semicircle, and he'll be so like... Ah! Like, I'm so worried about what just happened. And he'll run around a circle, he'll come back to the cat, and he'll be, like, very unsure, and he'll be, like... Mm. He's, like, he's really a pussy in that sense. And then, if the cat doesn't do anything, it's just frozen, he will approach, he will do, like, this, praying to the, the god cat or whatever, and then he'll, like, kind of have a whine of uncertainty, and then he'll walk away again. So, it depends on the behavior of the cat. Victory for I the bring pandemonium. Those two are always trying to go trace with Tassara. Uh, needs me. He wants to play, he's a dog. Yeah, he wants to play, but the cats never want to play with him. Yeah, I don't mind banning Tracer. Wow. Uh, Ayexa says the first pick in your team means tragedy and the last pick in their team means victory. <laughs> nice uh, little trivia info, Alexia, Alexila. The time is right for Chromie Grubby and you know it. Mm, is it though? Is it really? We don't have a warrior yet. No, it's not really. I stand ready. I stand ready. Tassadar. There is always hope. Mm. I heed the voice of Elum. I think I could make a case for Leoric. Yeah. I think Leoric is okay here. This galaxy shall suffer. I don't feel like Muradin again. My storm bolts are weak. Um, I could do Johanna, but I prefer Leoric. And Tomb on Vala and Sylph is pretty strong. Well, on Vala at least, on Ariel as well. Leoric has a good attachment of Drain Hub on Chen. Wait, this Chen is called Chen. Is Fealty onto Death for Leo good on this map? Yes, it's probably one of the best picks for him on this map. Chen versus Toronto, rip. Yeah, we have no cleanse. How did we get stuck on a full mage team again? Do you not like Diablo? When do you pick him? Yeah, I haven't taken Diablo in ages, man. In ages. Hmm. 
Diablo is not a single warrior kind of warrior. You need a second. And since almost no one ever double warriors in Hero League, I pretty much don't take Diablo. The is there a video of you meeting Kasparov? You I think there is, but I, I don't know how to find it. Do not make me regret my generosity. Cower before the darkness. Um, I can either get block or hopelessness. I'll get hopelessness. Ooh, close. Vala too strong of a hero. Let us Who's mid? The rotations so far are pretty hilarious. It's okay. Let's just let's just go with it. I shall break it. It was inevitable. There's probably someone in here. Wow. I, would head to I don't know Russian, but someone told me, Eddie Diablo, what it means. I can't read Cyrillic. Fall before me. Good. Remain loyal here. Cower before the darkness. I missed my W. Chen could have been dead. Uh, did he go for the Q stack? Ariel? No. He went for the reset. Man, cross eyed Wing, man. Uh, I'll get fealty onto death. I think Kael'thas is still fun to play, no, Cozy does. He still has the strongest stun in the game. A triple man, one and a half second stun. Which can be on a five second cooldown. I, I think people are too fast to write off Kael'thas. Just as they are too fast to first pick and first ban him. He is probably the most controversial hero by now. I see. I played him three times, no, twice since the new patch, and he seems fine to me. I thank you. Hey, Grubby, how do you counter Chromie in a Nubsy Pubsy game? Nubsy Pubsy, two terms. You don't counter in Nupsy Pupsy games, you just play, dodge, fight, go with the flow. If you are talking about Nupsy Pupsy Hero League, you can just get a hero with initiation and set it up for your team. So you get Thrall and Sundering. No mercy. 
No absolution. As it requires. If I W before I... Uh, man. If I W before I E, I probably still don't live, but it will be the right way to play it. I have to hit my start hitting my W's. It's kind of the point of Leoric, right? And so the circle becomes complete. Nice. You shall not pass. I like getting paralyzing rage. Let us move. Oh, we paid. Nice. I thought they did. Show this hero the power of the darkness. For the eternal empire. Yes, if I eat away before Ariel stunned me, I would have lived, I agree. Fast reflexes. Okay, nice. Not bad, not bad. Now they still have 76 gems. A cunning ploy. The clutch is ready to fall again. Return the gems to me. For the eternal empire. Immediately. Vala. That's Vala for you. A kiting monster. There is strength within you. I shall break it. Cower before the dark. A monster, truly. Look at that. Mobility. Mobility creep. Oh, fast out is a little bit better. Too bad. It was inevitable. The Empire suffers no traitors. <sighs> so fast a reaction. So they paid? No, my hatred. Let us move. Yeah, well I don't agree with that, because it is. His stun is not overrated. Gelf has a stun is as strong as it looks like. Yes, he has no escape, but if you've got teamwork, that is the strongest stun in the game. Yes, he's not a warrior. That's a lot of gems ripped. And that is why we need cleanse, but that was more of a multiple opponents against a few. Rather than uh, our comp. No, I don't have two hots. It's uh, actually hots regularly gets no, two soundtracks playing by accident. It was but if I turn it off, it'll be too quiet. And I guess this raises awareness. Greetings, friend. We have horrify, I guess, right? Hey, thanks for the reset, Jasper Zig. Mm 
No, only one. That's kind of okay. I will go defend bottom. It was inevitable. For the eternal empire. Yes, uh, that kind of locked up Toronto with Chen, which is not where you want to be, but it could be worse, I think. Really? A, a wailing for a single escaping the Auric. That's crazy. The ABC challenge will continue later. As I require, and so the circle becomes complete. Ha! I've got you. Well done. Service has its reward. Immediately. Got him. Get crushing hope. Perhaps I'm not the only prodigy here after all. Sundering incoming. Maybe. Faustad is still not here. We uh, we didn't lose anybody. That's pretty good. Ooh, fealty onto death. Heals me up nicely. Looks like we can almost pay. Of course, they have top cack available now. No mercy. No absolution. They can't pay, we can. That's nice. Oh. Actually, when Cake starts, he should just. Remain This Vala's positioning seems super potato. She's always in the front. Gust, gust. If I miss, that's horrific. Let us move. Ha, that was entertaining. Okay, I'll get um, unyielding despair. I don't think they can do this. They're just suiciding now. <clears throat> this is a ridiculously bad decision against the Oric team. <laughs> we march. I 
Now is a boss time. <laughs> Even if you play bad, there's always a chance your opponent does worse. Wait, this might not be a boss time either. They've got Sylvanas and Thrall. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we've got five. It's fine. Excellent. Okay. Cool. Uh, huge wave here. Huge wave. Show this hero the power of the We don't need that many people here. We should be pushing with the boss and just going back for an unignorable wave. The boss is still 80%. Resistance immediately. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Boss is dead. Crush all resistance. The master will be pleased. Well done. Service has its rewards. Motivate these mercenaries to join okay, us. Okay, good. We've also got a lot of map vision. We're a little bit down in XP, but we've good. got the initiative on uh, Merc Camps. I don't think uh, Auriel has any synergy with uh, Chen, Alo name. Yes, Empathic Link, but many other heroes also Empathic Link. Yourself, Al. Oh. Welcome to the arena of fate. Well done. Sudus has its reward. Nice. I uh, dodged the inevitable Sundering with Wraithwall. And then uh, got my full W attachment, which is a lot of bonus damage. <coughs> and then the Wailing Arrow didn't really do much as far as I could tell. I see. Nice Gust as well to isolate. They need one gem to pay, and we're letting Thrall kind of come back. We need uh, eight gems. Eight yes, more. My master. Six more. Six more gems. Oh no, one more. Nice. That was so tense. Also the fact that they're level 20 already. We just need to avoid a fight for 10 seconds. And that will be good. Alright, cool. Thrall's bot, so this is a fairly safe entry to the top. Um, I'll get uh, Spectral Leech. Ah, I got pushed away, I could not cancel the tomb anymore. Just leaving it super daring. Maybe paid for it. Yeah. It's been doing uh, good aggressive blinks. 
this time pay for it. Whoa, Thrall! Thrall's taking almost lethal damage. So sick. I was too far forward, and of course my Entomb already missed. We got not great damage. I my Entomb was fine. The the lash from Ariel made it irrelevant. You know the there like when you click Entomb, if at the same time the lash hits you, the whip. You will cast it on the new location. There is no cancelling on it. You could say that I could have expected it. Could have, should have. These are valid arguments. We probably don't want to fight. Just defend, right? Let's defend this spot. Yeah. Five man defend bottom, sounds good. We'll do it fast. We march. Now escape their destiny. The world remain here. So we used everything except horrify. And they still have keg. They probably still have quite a lot. Keg. No keg. No top keg. Huh. Pretty good defense. They might still try to vanilla push into middle, but it looks like not. Well met, Graf. Well met, Haunted Khan. Thank you, bro. For the reset. 11 months. We can probably do the boss now. <clears throat> God, that was a really exciting fight. Imagine, you can boss steal with the circle. No, my no problem. A little bit low. As I require. <sighs> I, take this mercenary camp. There is I have fealty on to death, but I'm not healing that fast from the wave. Still, I feel like it's a waste to go back and hearthstone with Leoric just for health. When you can just... Uh, when you can just heal up from minions. It would take too long, I would give up XP and stuff. Oh yes, there's a boss. Okay, we gotta keep Wailing Arrow was used, and Tomb was used, Horrify was used. Understood. We'll fix. Could you not have entombed Tyrande to prevent her getting kicked into Oblivion? It's possible, but it's difficult. I tried that once before, and she got locked in with Chen, which is the most likely result anyway. Let's just pay what we got. <clears throat> Reanimation is not good uh, compared to uh, the other two, Block and uh, Willing Vessel. It used to be good, but it doesn't give the health bonus that uh, other regeneration masters get. It just gives a quicker revive. So it does nothing until you die. And joke all we want, you're not quote unquote meant to die with Leoric. You can just choose to make sacrifices with him, which would be bad with other heroes. But you're not supposed to die for the, sec for the sake of it. Hey, Crowtail. One and a half years. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. 
I think I have to restart the game to get no overlapping music. The least that I can do is just turn it down a bit. So it doesn't disturb as much, but it's not quiet. Yeah, it gives you 30 HP per second regen. It used to be able to give you like 80, 90, 100. But they capped it. The cap really hurt him. Because he's the one that can collect the most globes of any other warrior in the game. So, that cap. Ugh. Then they buffed Willing Vessel. I mean, Hopelessness, not Willing Vessel, sorry. Hopelessness. It was inevitable. Just need three more. If you got, you gotta uncheck and check the continuous music box. Oh, thank you for the advice, PhD. Immediately. Try to do that in a bit. No mercy. No absolution. Service has its rewards. We march. Yo, that was a great tip, dude. Thanks. Nice. Mr. PhD got a PhD in fixing music bugs. It's heating up around here. My three gems. I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. Nice. Patiently played by the team. I'm really proud of them. Cool. Cool game. Cool fight. Cool zoning. I kept no thinking like, should I entomb? And I kept thinking, no, I don't want to antagonize the opponent into like a poor engagement for us. So nervous. Instead of going for Chen or Chen's target, I decided to zone out Thrall, one of the bigger damage dealers. And it was actually kind of okay. I wish I landed my W there. I would have lived if I landed it. We got massive core damage though, Jesus. It is not a bot Chen, his name is Chen. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to pay. Winions did well. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Free scouting. Well done. Service has its rewards. Crush all resistance. Oof. 
Oh. Really nice. Oh my god. Nice. Very, very nice. Well played. Whew. I didn't expect to have a game like this. 1824. With uh, Leoric solo tank. Not that it's bad always, but it's definitely different. With a Gul'dan on the team. And a Taronda who doesn't have cleanse against Cake. It's just turning out to be a really amazing game. I don't care if people play, you know, top top of the line, whatever. It's, it's just so fun, this game. Oh, but we won! Nice! <laughs> he just had to die before the end. He's like XD. Cool. Having a blast. Because if they ping him, behavior would change. Einheit. Cool. Excellent. So fun. I thank you. How would you describe the fantasy of playing Protoss in SC2? I was thinking about designing a commander-style Protoss hero for HOTS, for funsies, where you would basically be playing a mini-game of SC2. What's awesome about playing Protoss? But how can you do that without a map editor? Anyway, the fantasy of playing Protoss, for me, comes from Stark F1. And it's basically the methodology that if there is a human world, with some Zerg infestation, exterminate the planet first and then ask questions. That one always firmly rooted the Protoss' methodology in my mind. Just extinguish. Of course, they didn't know that humans were like totally cool and awesome and stuff and that you shouldn't incinerate them. But what stands out is really that just that they're willing to purge the Zerg before they get out of hand. Cool. Uh, not bad healing for a Tyrande. Huh? Way more than Ariel. In fact, now that healing looks a little bit on the lower side. But she does have the displacement with converging force. Diamond resolve to try and save herself. And Vala team loses again, even though, you know, lots of damage. Very good. Just lost a heart. No! Oh my god. I am too much for you. Oh my god. Jeez. Very good. 